Hey, what is going on, pros and pros? This is Mr. Larman HD here, and welcome to another Let's Review. Today, we're reviewing a, another Japanese Kit Kat, and I believe this is the Raspberry one. He said, I can't remember the top of my head, but I think this was the Raspberry one. I just reviewed a another flavor, and uh, so this is either strawberry or raspberry, but we will find out <laughs> in a second. So, like I said, uh, it's a Japanese Kit Kat, cost £1.50 from the stand. I was at the Insomnia Gaming Show a couple of days ago. And they had like a standard of foreign drinks or Japanese drinks, Kit Kats and everything. They had all these different flavour Kit Kats. And I thought, well, why not pick up a couple and review them for you guys. So, closer look at the packaging. Most of the packaging is basically pink. And then uh, we have kind of all the variety of stuff and a nice shiny foily gold, which looks fairly cool to be honest. Shiny gold, you know, looks always cool on anything. The uh, rest of the packaging is in Japanese, so I have no idea what anything says. So, uh, we'll get straight into it. So like I said, it's either strawberry or raspberry. Now, there is other strawberry flavours of these mini ones he was selling. So, like I said, it's either raspberry or strawberry, but we'll find out. I've got a feeling this one's the... I've got, I've got a feeling the chocolate's going to be pink on this one. I've just ha got a feeling. Oh, what a surprise. Right, so I've had trouble opening these so far. They're really, really tough. Oh, my lord. That is 100% raspberry. Wow. That smells really, really strong. Right, there we go. So, well, that looks interesting. So, again, it's your usual Kit Kat design. It's got the Kit Kat on top, nothing special. It's just basically a shortened version of a normal size Kit Kat. So, if you look closely, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's got lots of like darker dots, and I believe that is like the like the more raspberry bits they've put raspberry bits they've uh, put in there. And again, it smells. I found this with the other Kit Kats. This smells really, really, really... It just smells really sweet and really sickly for what it is. Like, it smells really strong. Wow. It really, really does smell really, really strong. But nevertheless, guys, let's uh, have a bite. Wow. I'll tell you what, I just reviewed I told you, another one of these Kit Kats, and that was sweet. This is even sweeter. That is insane. That is so sharp on your teeth and tongue or whatever. That is really, really strong as uh, raspberries. So, so again, the inside of the Kit Kat, again, use a wafer design, nothing interesting, but we have like a layer of raspberry between the wafers there, as you can see. But yes, the chocolate, you can't really taste it. Kind of just, I think the chocolate's quite thin on these. The chocolate kind of just disappears. Uh, you just get a massive barrage of raspberry sweetness, which is insane. All right. Oh my lord. That is so sharp. I'm not kidding, guys. I I love sweet stuff, and I don't mind stuff that is really sweet. But this is actually making me shiver a little bit. It is that sharp. Or that sweet. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. I could eat a full one of these, but I think having a lot of these, you'd definitely, probably definitely start to feel sick having a lot of these, rather than, say, a normal chocolate bar. Blimey, that is so sweet. I'll take the last little bit. Wow, it's that, it's that last bit towards the end. You buy it, you eat it for about, you know, a couple of seconds, as you see. And I think... Once you go to that last bit, then that really kicks in and just sets it in your mouth. And then it, it just makes you go, whoa. That is really, really, really sharp and sweet. So, it's not bad, but blimey. I, I, I would love to know how much sugar is in that raspberry sweet. That was that was crazy. Like I said, I could eat a full bar of this, but whoever could eat loads of them, I don't know. That's uh, That is something. But nevertheless, it is nice. It's just... On the sweet sickly side for what it is. So, uh, I will give it a thumbs up because, you know, everyone will probably like it and try it once because the flavour is nice. It's just, you know, sweet and sharp, like I said. But, uh, you know what, I will give it a thumbs up because it's fine. It's something different and, hey ho, it's, again, something new to try. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.